Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to work with this part. It will be a concept modeling study. Let's start by opening a new part and step by step build it together. Firstly we create on top plane a sketch and then we place the slot with center point. This is our slot. Center to center distance 125 radius is 30 and then it's okay and now we go surfaces extrude surface downwards 80 degree also draft outward will be active length is 5 enough so direction it down and then it will look like something like this and then we create a sketch on right plane and we look there normal too. Here we add a spline into point and then we'll play with our spline. We press our control in keyboard and then we pick here a line and we select our spline and then we set say tangent. Same operation will be the other side and the tangency value really is 50 also 50 here and then we continue the next operation this will be again next to its surface the plane 125 our length later on we create a field surface we select two edge here we open tangency, apply to all edge, and program for me going to connect this edge with the tangency to all faces around. And we can now hide our helping surface. This is our original surface. And on the right plane, we are going to make a mirror. This will be our mirror. And then we will have something like this. Yes, it is looking fine. And now we are going to select again our initial sketch surfaces, extrude surface, length is six, with a five millimeter, five degree angle outward. We will create a model as you see on the screen later on. The second step. Yes, you see our taper. Now I'm going to create on the top plane, sorry, on the on a new plane, select top plane, and we create on this point uh, a new plane here. And in this new plane, we create a sketch and we look normal to them. This center. The 25 millimeter diameter, and later on, we come to extrude surface again, and we make a 25 millimeter length with a five degree angle. We create something like this, which is looking fine. Now we can make some trim. This one, this body, and this body, all they are separated. And I'm going to send this unnecessary area simply with mutual trim. We will do this operation, mutual trim active. These are the surfaces. These are the unnecessary parts that we will want to have in our model. Uh, at the end, we have three surface now. And the first will not be used. We can simply delete it. And I'm coming to mirror. Body is the mirror. This body, this body, this body will be a mirror. And after this operation, I'm going to hide my plane. And simply, I will need everything now. Create solid large entities. And it is looking nice. Now I'm going to create firstly a widget here. Two on this, two on this, two here and here. 
yeah, something like this. Also, we can define some material now already plastic, low gloss, black low gloss. Well, it is quite black, uh, quite dark to work with. Yeah, something like this is better. If you change the display state, you see better. Also, we will have radiuses on this edge and in this meeting point. These will be 20 big radius compared to the initial ones, but these were two. And then now we are going to create our buttons. Uh, we are going to create on a plane one uh, our sketch. We look at our normal top. And now we will create our sketch. First, uh, we are at center. Here we have a 25. And one more circle, which will be 12 and a half from this one. And after this one, we look again normal to, we create here a line. So a line on the side, converting both of them, both them the, into construction geometry. These are same diameters. This will be 22. This is also same. You can simply press Control and make them equal by selecting two objects. This one 10, and this one from here. 20. It is looking okay now. We close them and we go features, extrude, cut. This direction to have old world 5 degree. Yes, it is looking fine. What we should do now, taking this operation one back, surfaces, offset surface is to uh, the value of offset zero. Simply we copy a surface now. We can hide our body. Cut extrude open. We use now same uh, sketches. And we come to extrude and we open five degree. Here now on under the directions, we say up to surface. Exactly, this will be our thing. Now we have four solid body, if you see. Now we can combine also them, but what is good, firstly, having some radius. Radius values two. Everywhere two, I edit. Boss extrude, and the boss extrude. We can create merge result. It will be merged and under fillet, we are going to select surface or edge again by using them. Didn't work. I will select each. What can work? Making a little bit smaller. 1995, for example. Yes. Uh, here also I will do the same. But what I realized, these radiuses are a little bit looking big. I will make them one. Here also one. We are going to have an error here. And change it first. So 995, for example, and these ones, 099995. If we, we, we didn't uh, combine this body, we wouldn't have this problem, but yeah, it happened. That's okay for now. Uh, we can define our appearance again. Long gloss, yeah, it is looking okay. What we are going to do now, adding our symbols, which was on the buttons, 
we look normal to we look from top firstly here to find easily i couldn't find the center i'm just knowing the distance it's 20. adding to a circle between them 175 it's looking good and outside 7.5 is looking fine for me maybe this is a little bit smaller yes and next step this center was 10 and then here we are going to create first the rectangle select all the edges right click select chain make them construction equal and now I'm going to add here one arc and also I will copy this arc circle of pattern will be in this center for time. Now we can define our dimension 7.5 is looking a good dimension and radius is 10 I'm saying. To be able to give you this dimension between two arc, simply you press shift and then program will allow you to give that dimension. And reverse 1.5 will be our offset value. And now after this operation, I go to split line and select two surface. Yes. Simply we have this surface splits now, right click phase and this phase make both of, both of them white. It's all right now. Or the only thing that left here we are going to uh, create direction buttons. I open the regis again a sketch. This is the center of this uh, line midpoint of this line making them equal offset entities be directional 0 0.75 cap ends with lines it's good and then we are going to make these ones construction geometry again 90 degree is good and the length will be somewhere for I think and I don't know what we are missing more still it became a dark sketch okay I will leave it like that you don't need to tamper it so much I select everything linear sketch pattern under circular sketch pattern point here the center four time copy and i close my sketch curves split line and then we are going to give again surface colors change display state it will start to look better and better also you can try with uh, different materials painted for example black spray paint wow, this is also looking nice but yeah a little bit coarse but you are able to you are able to change it this coarse uh, surface I think here yeah this is also looking nice like brushed aluminum yeah thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it you can give much more details for example what could be very nice also splitting up in two pieces with this uh, plane and giving them also little radiuses even we can make it together now i'm going to create here 
part and split got bodies I'm seeing how to assign names yeah it will create two file for us we should go back to main part but we lost our uh, color what do you have seen where to fix it I think you can easily manage it back yes now I'm going to do again and then let's see guys yeah it is looking much more realistic if you are making a design you will have a lot of concept study this was a nice example of it simple i think many people can manage it yes if you like my video please do make a comment and hit the like button see you in another video